Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a hot flesh and wrinkles makeup video and we are going to be testing out something that I got in PR. Yes, I did get some PR. This is the Dermablend CC Cream. It has an SPF of 50, so it's comparable to the IT Cosmetics CC Cream is what I'm told, what I read. Not from them, but from other people that have, have had it. Anyways, these are the three colors they sent me. They are all very light. So I'm going to try the darkest one of the three. And let me tell you what they say about it. It, comes, it only comes in 16 shades, which that's kind of, you know. I mean, it's, it's little... For a foundation, it's not that little for a CC cream. It's actually pretty good. Um, on the this, it says, This product is brilliant because it provides lightweight coverage and SPF 50 protection in one easy step. Plus, it's formulated with good-for-skin ingredients like vitamin E and niacin. It is tested to visibly improve skin's radiance. So this is going to be like a glowy one. Uh, it's best... For coverage for acne prone skin, hyperpigmentation, redness, discoloration, and dark spots. It is clinically tested to visibly improve skin's radiance after four weeks. Up to 24 hour color wear, broad spectrum 50 and um, SPF 50 and free radical defense. Formulated with niacin and something else that I can't say. Bakelin. Something like that. It is fragrance-free, oil-free, paraben-free, triclosan-free, phylase-free, and SLS-free. And like I said, it comes in 16 shades. At least that's what it looks like. And it retails for $39. So, I don't know. So, let's get started. Um, I have already put moisturizer on. I'm not going to do the TikTok method just because we're going to give it a try just the way it is. So... I'm going to go straight in with this, and this is the darkest shade they gave me, which is 20N. They gave me 10, 15, and 20N, and this is, it is fair 1, fair 2, and this is fair to light 1. So it looks really light, though. Face. There. There. See, it looks really light. We're going to have to do a lot of bronzing. So that's probably not enough, though. So probably if I wore this and we weren't testing it, I would add some of that, um, that NYX mixer just to, but I want to test it first just to see what the consistency is. Even though I, I definitely believe that those, that that mixer does not change the foundation. But just to be on the safe side, we are going to do it like this. And it did say in the website that you can put it um, on with, oh man, look how light that is, with a sponge, brush, or your fingers. And we're doing a brush. And then a sponge. And I put it on with my fingers, so we covered them all. So yeah, I would use a mixer in it, but we're going to just bronze it up today so that we can see how it stays out of the lines and stuff. Hopefully, if it does. It's pretty thick. It's got good coverage. And it's glowy, but I am going to powder it. You know I'm going to powder it. Because I don't think anything's going to stay out of the lines if you don't powder it. At least not on me. Okay, now we're going to go in with our sponge and just make sure it's all blended and out of the creases. All right, it looks good so far. And I'm sure it's going to look better once I powder it. All right, now we're going to go in with the concealer. I'm using my Pat McGrath.
Oh, it's kind of fuzzy on it. I was trying to make little triangles. I saw somebody do that and they said that it uh, helps lift your eye. I thought I'd try it, but I can't really make a triangle. Or at least I didn't do a very good job. Right, let's go in and spread this out. Got a little on my eyelash there. I can't really tell that that lifted my eye. I like it though, so far. All right, let's go in with our powder now. I always make sure I get plenty of powder in the places where it would normally like gather in the line in the wrinkles cuz that's where i really want to make sure it doesn't and then i'm going to take my brush and just spread it all over and set it all okay now i'm going to go in with my bronzer and i'm going to contour and bronze at the same time, I moved my microphone over this way a little, so now I have to make sure I stay over there so you can hear what I say. So I'm using my Bobbi Brown in natural. Definitely want to get some color. I love this bronzer. I've tried a few since then and now that I've got this one, I feel like all the rest of them are like too warm. This one's just perfect for me. I love it because it gives you like a pinky, almost with an undertone of red to it instead of orange, which I like. Some people really like the orange because sometimes, you know, depending on what skin tone you have as to whether that is what color you turn when you get bronze. But I have a lot of yellow, so I don't, I don't really turn orange when I normally, naturally, used to tan in the sun. Okay, I'm going to go in with some Dallas blush from Benefit. Oops. Since we need color today, we're not going to skip the blush. My dandelion bronze, I mean highlight. And I usually always just put this on with my finger. Because I just feel like it presses it in into my skin a little more so that when I go over it with my dual fiber brush, I still have some. Otherwise, it seems like it just brushes right off. With this. Just like that. And now we are ready to, we're gonna do my brows first. And I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona palette, the crease color, right here. I'm just going to brush them up real quick first and then go in with my cut paintbrush and this was a flat top paintbrush and I just cut it really down towards the bottom so it's really dense at an angle a sharp angle and it's like my favorite brow brush and then I have one that's just a little bit smaller than this which you will see in a few minutes um, that I use to for my eyeliner both of these brushes were great 
and they came as a set. And I've tried to find them. I just got them at Hobby Lobby in the paintbrushes. And I couldn't find these exact ones, but like I said, just find some thin ones that are kind of flat. They're flat tops, and then cut them. It doesn't say how, what size they are or anything, I don't think. Simply something chisel. A chisel blender is what it's called. But it wasn't a chisel. It was a flat brush. Okay, now I'm going to use my Milani eyebrow gel. It's just clear gel. And I'm going to put that on these brows to help keep that eyeshadow powder in there and to keep them in place. And then I'm going to take my twinkle blade or tinkle blade, whatever it's called, leave the lid on. I'm just going to press the brows down so that they stick to each other and stay in place. Just like that. Okay, now for my eyeshadow, <clears throat> I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury's Marie Antoinette. And we're just going to do a one and done. So I'm going to grab this brush. This is a Sigma eyeshadow E55 brush and it's just a round top but it's kind of dense and so I'm going to get some on here I haven't used this in a while and I only get it on one side and then I'm going to put this on my lid the whole lid And then once I've got it all over the lid, I take the clean side and I pull up what's already on my lid so that it just is a light coating of it. And I keep pulling until basically my brush is pretty clean again. Just like that. So that then now I take the clean side and I kind of wipe it off a little bit and do the other eye. And that is it for the one and done. Well, it's not done though. It's one and done eyeshadow. And then we're going to go in and we're going to line it. And then it's done. And I am going to use this Milani palette because it has a black in the corner. And that's what I'm going to use to line it with. And I just, there, and see, this is the smaller of the two brushes, and I did the same thing to it, and this is what I use for my liner, like, all the time. And I'm just going to put liner all the way across. And then I'm going to pull it up a little on the outer corner to give it a little lift and smudge it. And then I'm going to do the other eye. This is my favorite cream shadow, but just this color. Because I've tried, I think, I know I tried at least one other color and I ended up returning it because, I don't know, it just wasn't as good. I mean, the formula and everything was good, but I just, I couldn't do the one and done with it. I think it was green and it just didn't, you know, didn't work with that one. I felt like it didn't work on me. So, but this Marie Antoinette, I love it. I can wear this with any, anything. Okay, where are we at? I think all we have left is lipstick, right? Because I don't put mascara on because I'm wearing these lashes. These lashes are my naked lashes. These are my new favorite, favorite ones. I don't know how close I can get, but if you guys can see these, 
These ones are so good. So good. They are, they're nice and thick. Well, not real thick, <laughs> they, but they are, but they're curled. See how much curl they have? That's what I love is the curl. They look to me like if you go get your lash extensions done and you ask for like a natural look, because they're natural. For lash extensions, natural is just like not touching your, it's not actual natural ones because <laughs> actual natural ones, you can't even see them, right? So anyways, these to me are like, just like, just like the extensions you get when you go get your lash extensions put on and you ask for like a natural type one, a natural length. I love them. Anyways, I love them. And this is what they are. These are the Ardell Naked Lashes. And I'm pretty sure they're new because I just found them. And I got a couple of these because I don't know how long they're going to last. But I want to make sure I have plenty of them. Because these are the best. What does it say down here? It says subtle volume and length. And it's true. It's like I've got length. But I've got curl. So that you can see it. The other ones I had were length. And they kind of curled, but they got so starry looking, you know, little separations. I like these so, so much better. Anyways, let's get some lipstick. What shall we wear? Let's wear that Tarte one again. I kind of like that one. At first, I was going to take it back. But I've got to where I like it now. This is the Tarte Juicy Lip in Orchid. And it goes on just like a lip balm. It's so great. It's a little thicker. It's a little thicker. I thought it was like a lip balm at first, but it's a little thicker. All right, that's it. We're done. I love it. And it's a CC cream. I have complete faith in CC creams. I mean, that's pretty much all we've been doing for a while, huh? And this one, I like it because I powdered it and I can still see some glow through it. See? So next time I use it, I'm going to add a little tint to it. But, you know, I don't, you don't need it if you get the right color. But I think it's amazing. It's definitely sunk in it went on a little thick and i had read one of the reviews said um it dried faster than they thought so you might want to do just i had no problem i had no problem i put it you know you saw me put it all over and then just go in with a brush and a sponge and it still did fine and it's completely sunk in it's not sticky it's not thick it's not sinking into any lines it's beautiful and it's not clinging to dry patches I was a little worried about that because it said, you know, that it was really, it, actually it said it was good for all skin types, but I felt like it was aiming for acne prone or oily skin, but it's not. It's fine. It's great because I have dry and normal. I have no oil. So I love it. I'm giving it two thumbs up because I think it's so good. And I will, if anything changes, I will put it in the comments because I don't do all day wear tests anymore for CC creams because to me, they never move. They're, when they're on, when you're done, they stay that way all day long. So at the end of the day, after I, when I go to take it off, I'll look in the mirror and if it has changed, I'll put that in the comments or in the information box. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. And follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah!